Hi everyone, what we're going to cover in this video is a very common question on chemistry GCSE paper one and that's how we can explain the reactivity of alkali metals with our knowledge of electronic structures. We've already seen how alkali metals react with water and if you need a refresher of that I'll put a link up there now. So first of all, why are the alkali metals so reactive? We've seen just how reactive they are in water. We certainly wouldn't put them in acid. They're way too reactive to be putting them in acid. Now, the reason is when we look at their electronic structures, we can see they've got one thing in common, and that's they've all got one electron in their outer shell. And that's because they're in group one. Remember the rule that the group number tells you how many electrons are in the outer shell. So if we were talking about group five, they'd all have five electrons in the outer shell. But in this case, group one metals all have one electron in the outer shell. That does mean they all only have to lose one electron to be stable with a full outer shell. And that's quite an easy thing to do. So that makes all of these alkali metals in group one very reactive metals. So when you sit your GCSE chemistry exam, expect to be asked the question, why do the alkali metals get more reactive as you go down group one? Now, the first thing that's really obvious is as you go down the group, the atoms get bigger or have more shells. Now, that's really obvious because we can see the electronic structures there, but in your exam, it won't show it. So if you need to be reminded of that, then sketch out the first three electronic structures and then it becomes very obvious. So we've established that as you go down group one, the atoms get bigger or have more shells. And all of these patterns are sometimes described as trends as you go down the group. So if the question says, what is the trend as you go down group one? It just means, what is the pattern? What's changing? So the atoms getting bigger, that means there's less attraction between the nucleus and the outer electron. So think about two magnets. If you had them further away from each other, there'd be less magnetic attraction between them. In this case, we're talking about an electrostatic attraction between the positive nucleus and the outer electron. So on an atom like potassium, where that electron is a long way from the nucleus, there'll be less attraction from the nucleus. There's also more shielding as you go down the group from the inner shells. And all of these things means that the outer electron is much easier to lose. And that's why the alkali metals are getting more reactive down the group. If you found the video useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.